Uh, here's another effort at a Henry Rollins inspired spoken word bit. And tonight I think I'm going to talk about <clears throat> the difference between the music that I grew up on, the music in the set, late 70s and the 1980s and this sort of thing, and the music uh, from today. And I think the biggest difference that uh, anybody can see about this is music of the 1970s, late 1970s and the 1980s, that sort of thing, maybe the early 1990s, I don't know, it's optimistic music. You know, when Glass Tiger makes a song called I Will Be There and they mean it, that's a little different thing than uh, some song that you listen today like um, uh, 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 Better Things by the Bouncing Souls where that's like, I hope you find better things. Well, I hope. They're not really helping you, are they? No, no, they're just hoping that you find better things. Oh, by the way, the music that you hear playing in the background is another example of that kind of hopeful music. We've got a little bit of ACDC playing, Who Made Who? And that, you know, that's the thing, right? For, ooh, I don't know, 30, 40 years, ACDC's been making the same kind of music. It's uh, upbeat, happy music, party, good time music, you know? Do you hear that kind of music today? Oh no, everything is horrible. <laughs> Which is another reason why I don't uh, really like the goth music that I'm supposed to like uh, as much as you'd think. Because again, that's downer music. Oh, everything is horrible. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, the life is terrible. No, it isn't. The world is a place, and it's just like any other place. It has good parts, and it has bad parts. And the sooner you realize that, that the, the world is completely indifferent to what's going on with you, the happier you're going to be. So then we have music today. And the music has changed since I was a young person, okay? For one thing, back in the day, I remember, you know, the, those heady days of the, the coast to coast Iron Maiden tours and, you know, uh, Metallica playing like 300 dates in, in a year and a half all around the world and this sort of thing, right? Three dates in Mexico City, rock on brother, you know, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, that is the day when music sort of owned the world. You know, when your favorite band picked you up and made you feel just fantastic, you know. And I remember the days when heavy metal music was the most popular music in the world, you know, and everybody's flashing the devil horns, yeah, rock on, okay, this sort of thing, right? That was when music was music, when it would change your life, and when rock and roll was the music of the working man, and it could lift you up out of the gutter and make you feel just great, right? What have you got now? Oh, everything is horrible. The downer music, you know, rock and roll music isn't really even getting made anymore, right? You know, you get your classic rock, you know, and there's a few bands that are doing great things today, you know, like uh, Art Sweden's Arch Enemy, you know, death metal band, you know, the Cookie Monster vocals, <laughs> which isn't really singing. I think bands do uh, death metal, do that kind of Cookie Monster singing because they can't sing any other way, but that's beside the point, right? So, uh, Music today, it isn't hopeful, it doesn't pick you up, it doesn't make you move. And what the heck is with country, well don't get me started on country music, okay? But that seems to have become the, the music of the working man. And I, when I'm recording this during the Calgary Stampede, that should tell you something, you know. Here's a celebration of everything western, you know, boots and horses and dirt and, you know, twangy music and everything else. And okay, if that's your thing, then that's your thing. But you can tell it, it's not mine, okay? So, the thing is, um, Let's have some hopeful music. Let's have music pick you up and make you move, right? You know, there was a lot of criticism leveled against heavy metal music when I was growing up. Oh, it's the devil's music. Satan, oh, no, no. That's Halloween, right? You know, Ozzy Osbourne or Alice Cooper was no more in touch with dark powers than George W. Bush or Bill Clinton was, you know, and none of those four guys really had any clue what was going on. It's Halloween, it's make, it, you know, it's dress up, make believe, that sort of thing, you know. If you want real honest to God Satanism, the last place you'd find it was at a heavy metal concert, right, you know. Then of course you get the black metal bands coming out of, you know, Sweden and Norway and, and places, places like that, you know, in the mid 90s, and they're burning down churches, you know, because they're thinking, well, you'll know. The Norwegian people, they did not choose Christianity, it was forced upon them. Okay, well maybe it was forced upon them. Does that make it right for you to burn churches down today? Mm, eh, probably not, you know, just a guess, just a, a wild supposition, okay? So, and they lost sight of it. You know, they wanted elitist music for a special group of people. And rock and roll music, of which heavy metal is a kind, you know, okay? That's music for the masses, right? That's 
the working guy's music, okay? You know, not, you know, and of course there's, you know, Bruce Springsteen and Bob Seger and 38 Special and bands like that. That's real rock and roll music, okay? Not this, you know, what is it, the New Romantics and, well, of course you get punk music if you're mad as heck. And that's where my current idol, my Jesus, oh, Henry Rollins comes from. Because you see, he was one of the original people in the punk rock music. He was angry about everything, you know? And Henry Rollins couldn't figure out why does he have like smile lines on the side of his face. I never smile. Well, yeah, you're an angry guy, Henry. That's probably why. So he's convinced that he smiles in his sleep. But that's another story entirely, right? And I think that the state that the world is in right now is because there isn't good metal, good metal being made, good music being made, you know? Rock and roll can save the world if you let it, right? But no, we've got to do something different. We've got to have country music. We've got to have Nashville North up there in Calgary. Okay, that's fine. But the most, the biggest and best uh, musical import that I heard from Calgary, I heard, you know, 10 days ago at a heavy metal concert here in you know, the wonderful Rocky Mountains, you know? So the thing is, everybody's musical tastes are different, right? And in the one in 20, you can get your musical tastes um, serviced, you know, taken care of, uh, whatever you want to call it, right? But the thing is, should you, you know? When, you know, you've got bands talk, like Kiss talking about crazy nights, and, uh, you know, ACDC is just, yeah, rock on, pub music and this sort of thing. That's good time music, right? You know, let's have some more of that. Music should be about a good time after all, right? You know, not experiment, sonic experiments and, and getting a message across and this sort of thing. No, you know, music is there to pick you up, make you feel better, you know? It's there for you in a lot of dark times, right? Music never hits you. Never calls you names, never turns you out on the street if you have the wrong lifestyle, that kind of thing, right? Music is always there for you. Music should always be there for you, right? Because we need more of that kind of rock and roll music, the kind of music that you can just take into your heart and love, and it'll make you a better person, right? You know, a lot of, I've heard people say, since I've been listening to that metal music, I'm a better person. And of course, metal heads tend to be into smart people. We all seen those dunderheads at school too, or at least I grew up on them. You know, the guy with the metal shirt and the uh, plaid shirt. And these are the guys that had throw, throw me in lock, <coughs> excuse me, in lockers and this sort of thing. But hey, you know, at least they listen to honest music, right? You know, and uh, you can tell what kind of music I like. There isn't a lot enough of that honest music being made today, you know, and I think we need to change that. So here's try number two of Spoken Word, signing off.